Butte is just an amazing place. I absolutely love, you know, all the stories that there are to be told in this town. You can almost, you know, feel the people that were there before you. When you walk around, it's not just beautiful mountains. You have the beautiful mountains against this industrial landscape, so it really makes for just a really unique point of view that you can see Montana through. My Deep Roots Photography Project, it's meant to really showcase the families of Butte that have been here for a long time and show the history they have here in Butte. So my goal is to create something where you can actually see the people now and they're against a background you know, of maybe their old grandmother's house they remember staying at. Or, for example, Thomas's Apparel, one of the first locations Thomas's was located in. So it's something that is going to show yesterday and today, so the old and the new. And then also combine that with some old photographs of the place so you can get a feel for the difference, how things have changed, how things are still the same. And then also include some audio of the people being interviewed telling the stories. She was a lady from Italy, an older lady. She was very good. She couldn't talk English. She could talk Italian, is all she could do. The only thing she could talk in English was swear words. So she used to use them at us, use her swear words at us. And she knew that pretty well because we knew what she was saying. <laughs> we couldn't understand Italian. No, we just understood those. <laughs> of course, we heard them enough. <laughs> but she was, she worked awful hard. She was a good woman. Nice lady. A lot of the people that I photographed and interviewed, I think it's been really something great for them because they maybe never thought to do a photograph to include all this family history. And a lot of the people maybe are older, so this is going to be something they can pass down to their you know, grandchildren and great-grandchildren so they can really see their family history and you know, hear their grandpa or their grandma talk about the past and all these stories, which sooner or later, people pass away, the stories don't always get passed on. So they're not just, here's my grandma, look how beautiful she was, but you know, look at all of this and see this was the neighbor sh neighborhood she lived in. The house isn't there anymore, but you can see her neighbor's steps and to really save those stories for the families. Well, you know, there was always a big shaft upon that mind up. And all the kids would always, there would be like a few openings in between spaces, and they'd all look in there and throw sticks down and anything they could throw in that mind up. And that was there for years on, Oak, on the corner of Oklahoma, yeah. Everybody took pictures there. Deep Roots has really affected me as an artist because it's made me think a little bit more deeply in terms of, you know, what what is the story here and what do I need to focus on? A lot of times I'm mainly a portrait photographer and people come in and they just want a photo where they look great. Or in this case, you know, I've really dug deep with my subjects, the people in the project, to find out so much about them, what's important to them you know, what's in their family history. And then the hardest part has been figuring out what is the one angle. Because in a photograph, I can't have 25 different, you know, points to the photograph. There needs to be one specific theme. So it's really gotten me to think a little more critically. Um, and that's also translated into the other areas, family portraits, high school seniors, because it, it's making me think a lot more in terms of what's important to them in 20, 30 years, how can I make this be something that tells their story and isn't just a photo that makes them look pretty. So I'm currently looking for more people to photograph for the Deep Roots project. People can be involved in the project if they have 
a lot of history in Butte or the surrounding area or even somewhere in Montana just by contacting me and telling me their story and just telling me why their family history is so important.